Some of the other big news kind of come out of L.A., L.A. related a little bit. Face you know, down, um, ass you know, up, I know you face have a good, down, uh, you know, insight up. to this. Is Quando Rondo oh. came out not too long ago and, you know, basically saying that he was laying down his flag and then he's not neighborhood no more. You know, what What was your thought on all that? Thoughts on all that? Well, first, I had thoughts that were kind of like... Um, influenced by everyone else's and the fact that it was on internet and what he had just went through. And I kind of reacted initially like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. but in all actuality, every person in front of a camera should be saying exactly what he's saying. Even the most full-fledged active gang members out there. No one should be on the camera trying to prove that that's who they are. Even, especially if that's who you are, your expression on camera should be that the exact opposite. So therefore, with that being in mind, I'm gonna give him all the benefits of the doubt and say that could be one of the wisest things he declares, especially being in Georgia where, at least in Fulton County, huh, they not playing. So if you're cripping in that short uh, career span and got that high profile, you might think it's some coward, buster, scary shit to, for him to say that. It could be some real smart, sharp, calculated, educated, intelligent, suave, smooth, cool, shrewd to do that. I seen in a previous interview that he did, uh, probably a few years back, where he, at this point, he completely denied being a crib at all. This is my thing. I can't, it's hard for me to discuss these subjects with people when, from that perspective, when we're talking about what someone said on record, on camera. Because really, to be honest with you, that's the only thing you should ever be caught saying on record, on camera. Even myself, personally, you, ever since I've been a professional recording artist or a public person, I've always discussed my gang affiliation in a past tense. And I did it for so long, you can go back through all my content over the years and realize I'm telling you the truth. But it feels like a prophetic um, position for me to take because look how they're using lyrics and people claiming to be gang affiliated to bring about charges, cases, and convictions that are as serious as racketeering and RICO which are all glued together through the concept of a conspiracy, which is the easiest thing to prove in the federal court of law. Why would yeah, anyone, Rico's. anybody really savvy to the game, judge somebody about being on camera and saying, oh, I'm not no terrorist gang organized crime member. I don't got nothing to do with that. How can you judge anyone from declaring that on camera? That's, yeah. like you expecting, no, you. that's like you expecting the devil to show up and say, fee fi fo fum I'm coming to get everybody. No, he's going to come up singing sweet shit to your ear, making you think you can trust him and love him. So I don't want to blow nobody cover, but I'm leaving out. I leave my brain open for the possibility that Quando might be on point more so than all his counterparts. I'm going to give him the room that that might be what's going on. I also not trying to add to nobody investigation. Everybody acting like, well, 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 well. nobody. I, I, I also consider the fact that that might have been a successful mission. Yeah, okay. Huh? Everybody looking at him like he supposed to be explaining his every move. Everybody thought Kaja Sose was a punk. He was getting shocked in the ribs, pissing blood. Huh? He couldn't walk right. Kaiser so say. I give Quan, I give Quando Rondo, Rondo the benefit of the doubt. He might be Kaiser so say around this motherfucker. Hypothetically speaking, if somebody wanted to leave a gang, how hard would it be? See, the thing that used to make it so difficult is the fact that the gangs are based residentially where you live. So 
the gang is here, you stuck here as far as your, your living situation, it's kind of hard to duck your obligation that you had committed to. You got to walk home from school, you got to pull up, these dudes is going to be around. Nowadays, the actual structure of the gangs are not really based like that. And even when it was based like that, leaving the gang and the way it's going to go, it's unique every time based upon the person, the hood you from, and your status over there in that hood. You could be, I got a homie right now, swear to God, he was born and raised on 97th Street. He turned 97 East Coast when he was young. He was my little homie. And then I can remember it was a time where we had drive up the block on 97th and cuz would be in the back seat, ducked down when he sees certain family members on his porch. He'd tell me, don't stop, cuz, keep going, keep going, keep going. To where his family, because they cared about him, kind of like made him to where he couldn't claim the hood no more. He couldn't get away with it. He went and started some whole other shit right in our section. Now he's a fully grown man. He's one of my very best friends. He's not from 97 East Coast. He from something else formally right there. But he walked right off, changed what he did, no problem. Then I got homies that's original homies, more original than me, was around before me. We don't see him for a while. Rumor going around, they turned Harlem Crip in L.A. on the West. They really be with the Harlems. They ain't turned Harlem, but they be with the Harlem so much and never come into the hood that eventually the homies, we mount up deep, go to the Harlem hood, basically make cuz come back to the hood. If he didn't agree to come back, it was gonna, something was gonna go down. Then there's other variations of how it can go. I got a homie from my hood, used to be from Q102, whatever reasons in his journey, he didn't want to be from Q102 no more, he wanted to be from 97. Q102s came to the hood, one of my homies, him, they went around the corner, put Cuz off Q102, put him on 97. He a real homie from the hood. Some niggas, you hanging out, you do something boo-boo, you still want to be from the hood. You don't have no choice. Niggas will beat you up and run you off. But then, I just want to keep with a Google, facts over feelings on my mama mama. You got niggas that's on paperwork. Everybody know it. Certain niggas in the hood, let them know, you got the boot. You all bad. And you got experiences where the rest of the hood decide, oh, no, nah, you go through a little weak ass DP and you still the homie. Cuz made a mistake. You can't run everybody off because you made a mistake cuz young. I used to hear that when I was younger and they used to say that about young homies. But as time went on, they be giving that pass to older and older people cuz made a mistake. <laughs> Cuz made a mistake, but the little homie got all day. A young nigga with all the shits got all day, but Cuz made a mistake. So getting put off the gang, bro, we, I know traditionally, historically, yeah, it was a real rough process. And I can go back and act like it's exactly like that, like we heard in all the gangster stories and movies. Nah, if you got a location far enough away, all you gotta do is not come back. Yeah, I, I, you know, I was kind of like thinking that with Quando Rondo, like he might not have just, he might not have had to just announce it. He could have just. See, initially before I sat, before, before I thought about it deeper, my perspective was he could walk away. However, he shouldn't have did it on the internet because it kind of makes it seem like your whole game bang career is everything we saw on the internet. It was all about the internet because like I told you, shouldn't no active member of any type of illegal organization be on the internet, on camera, professing that that's who I am. That's not, so, and I know I'm thinking more sophisticated and advanced than them. I know I'm giving him probably a benefit of the doubt that he hasn't crossed his mind. It might not apply, but I'm just that fair. I'm just that fair because it could be. And um, that's what I would advise anyone to do. I don't care if you're the most active gang member ever in the world. Did you know that Al Capone and them was at church every Sunday with suits on, with their family, 
looking so presentable. I did not know that. Yeah. That's interesting. Yeah. What you think confession really, who need to go talk to that priest for real? <laughs> you feel yeah. me? Quando Rondo in particular, sad case because you see what the brand of gang bang in Los Angeles established has done to the world, to the youth. It's a germ, it's a disease. People that are not high profile like Quando Rondo have adopted it, gone through ups, downs, buffoonery, successes, and you never hear about it. He just got caught up, bro. He got caught up. This gang banging shit ain't good for the local natives. So it ain't good for nobody who adopted it abroad. Definitely not for someone from abroad who adopted to be associated with one of the most treacherous brands of this shit and think that you finna come. Just think, there are actual entertainers from 60s that are bigger profile than Quando Ronald. On that spectrum, he's nobody to the game. They got Corrupt, Nipsey, Key to Rock, Big U. They been popping. You not nobody, even the fact that you popping, you nobody. And really, even though he popping, you not even popping. I promise you, if Cuz would've did something like been fortunate, lucky, or wise enough to associate himself with one of these LA gangs that nobody never heard of, he probably could have had a way more successful experience. Checking in was what you're talking about. Is like he should have been checking in with somebody. Look, if you're gonna if you're gonna gang bang an LA gang, this not even the reg this not even a regular check it in that we talk about for artists. Nigga, if you're gonna claim neighborhood road in the 60s and somebody gotta tell you that you need to be checking in, it's not even you should be checking in out of a need, you should be checking in out of a desire. How, bro, what do it look like me living anywhere or being anywhere? I turn the hood and I don't wanna be there. I'm not trying to get, before you get burnt out on the hood, you gotta get burnt out, exhausted, tired, fed up. The whole essence of this shit is niggas falling in love with it to where you can't pull them away from it. How do you expect niggas to actually go through that from juvenile hall, elementary, junior high school to accept you in any other realm if you, what, bro, part of this is proving, impressing. At some stage of your journey experience, you have to prove or impress. It's gonna take place for, for everyone. It's about jumping off the porch, showing that you down, showing that you with it. That's part of this. How does he escape that? And you wanna have the credit and the, uh, the branding of one of the most official, notorious gangs out here, one of the most difficult gangs to navigate a successful journey through, you wanna get that stamped for nothing? You know how hard it is to be from 60s? Not only to be from 60s, but to be a reputable, notarized person that everybody respect? Cause it's hard. It ain't easy, cuz. That shit ain't easy. He just picked off more, he bit off more than he could chew, cuz. He should have tried somebody else's hood. And then you pick the hood that's already high profile. A lot of other hoods are looking to get exposed to the high profile. These niggas don't need no exposure in general. They popping, they been popping. He fell into a trap that he could have been savvy, fly enough to, to uh, navigate, but apparently, obviously he wasn't. And then there are some who, with all the skills necessary, still wouldn't be able to accomplish it because you never know what this shit out here, cuz. They say the strong survive. Shit, the strong even, uh, even die in South Central. What's up, this is Cam Capone. We got more content like this coming soon. So hit that like button, subscribe, and stay locked in to Cam Capone News.